it's good to just shows you how important it is to keep a regular ramble around this way because how quickly they change when they move the animals about like that. One day long sheep field could have cows in it. So you've got to be prepared to, I mean look how high these fences are, that, that would be very hard, hard for me to have climbed if I got here and then decided to have climbed it. Um, there are cows over there, but there's that lovely tree, that beautiful big oak tree there. These reference points, you know, they're handy to know, because I won't forget that field and that way over here for another time. I won't forget that. Um, oh. And look at this lovely landscape, everyone. Isn't it beautiful? I've got time to actually not go off on rush. I've got time to really absorb this beauty here. The signals where I had a little dance in the field. Where I desperately really wanted my cheese and tomato but didn't think I'd make it back. The long hike up to the past, that, that bit where those girls were going down, I think they would be, we'd be coinciding very closely now. I think they might probably have even done it. Her mother, it was a young, younger woman with her mother, but her mother was fitter than you would have believed. If you know what I mean. She looked she looked like she couldn't go very far, but she was actually very, quite a fit person. So it was, um, what it is, it's um, what you see is deceiving sometimes, you know? And there don't seem to be any cows here this year. I think there were one or two I spotted. It's definitely changing what they're doing around here though. Because there's the farm I normally come through and walk through a field down the bottom there. But there were two black cows over there, so I decided not to go in with them. I decided it was too dangerous, so I didn't go in there. I wasn't going to take the risk, because it was a long way across the field. Um, I, would, I was very exposed. So I made a very quick decision to walk through long grass and uh, I'm just looking to see if I can see those blokes. There's somebody over there. Let me have a look. There were these two men. That's two people there. I don't think that's them. Two people there coming across a field of cows. That's still a bit risky for me, my liking. There might be still a way to come in across here, but that's I traipsed all around this big field here and got through a, a gap over there. In the end, I've done quite a bit of hiking. I'm just looking out for these two young men that were sort of lost. They'll probably get back to chatter before me. They were keeping to a road. Um, it's a long way that way though. It's a long way and it's dangerous. I'm just wondering if I'm going to bump into these two girls. I'm very tempted to go that over by the cliff just to see if I see them they would have beat me because they didn't have to go all along the top and then mess about with fields and stuff. It would have been quite straightforward apart from the steps. I know there is a way down through there uh, but I wouldn't risk going in that field with those cows. Definitely not. I wouldn't go in that any of that field. I just see who that, that person is. Is it two people? Oh, it's a cow. I thought that was a person. It's actually a cow. It really looked like a person. <laughs> I don't know where those men went. 
They certainly didn't follow me into that big sheep field. I'm glad they didn't, because I would have taken them on a wild goose chase. Not for me. But see, if I had somebody with me, would they have wanted to have done all that? I didn't hurt myself. I got bitten by bloody horse flies. Now what you got to do, you've got to take your time now, go. I'll tell you why. Because um, you've got a lot of time on your hands. You're not going to get that five o'clock. Yeah, people burning up here. Somewhere around here, someone put a camera. Because they said they were trying to assess the number of people that visited here. And I think they were going to put a camera in stonework somewhere. I don't know where. I think I will go over by the gorge rather than go straight down that bit because I've got time. I've got time on my side. Uh, just have a look though, Sheila, at your... It's 20. You've got an hour before you've even got to think. I haven't got time to get down for the bus. I haven't got time. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a bit of... I'm going to make the most of the time I'm up here, to tell the truth. I'd love to bump into those two girls again, though. Really, I would. You've got time for an ice cream. Mind you, most of it will be shut by the time you get down there. So you might not get one. You won't get down there till half five. You've got an hour up here. And there's the gorge in front of me. Now quite often I usually go round through the back way there. But today I'm going to go near where I came up. But I'm just going to do a little bit more looking at the gorge. I just want to see if I see those two people. They've probably already gone. I thought if I come here... There's a chance I might bump into them now. Imagine that. What I'm going to do is go and sit on my stone where I sat this morning. I had my first drink of water and all that sort of I think I took... Did I take my jumper off then? No, I took my jumper off earlier. I reckon they would have done it. I reckon they would have done it. When I saw them, it was two o'clock. It's twenty past four now. Would it have taken them two and a half hours? They were very quick going that way. Very quick. I'll just sit here for a minute and have my carton of blackcurrant over and out. Last bit of video then. The gorge is there. Very powerful ge geology, I call it. Very powerful. quieter now. Now in, there has been, t in the past, I've, I've left now and ran to get my bus at half past four. Yeah, I have. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I just hope they don't cancel the last bus. I oh, think God how awful if they do that. There's all the birdies flying about, busy. The lush green gorge this time of year. The goats all hiding in it. Because of the diversions and having to go back and find my hat, and I lost it that time, dropped it. That put um, 
I'd say half an hour delay for get it, ever getting the five o'clock bus. But I've always had six o'clock in my mind. I've always had six o'clock as uh, the bus I would probably get today. I'm making the most of it. Yes, so I've met some people. Everyone's been friendly. I haven't met many people on their own, but sometimes you don't notice them so much. I mean, there was much, there have been single people, but I find that people on their own tend to be very more quiet. They they don't join in so much with the conversation. Um. You don't get noticed when you're on your own either sometimes, or sometimes you stick out because you are on your own. It's a weird thing. I mean, I like coming out for lots of reasons. I come out for healing reasons. I like to do videos and photos. And I can please myself. I'll go at my own pace. There's no pressure. There's no arguments. Um, so basically, I quite like just walking on my own here. Oh, there's somebody out there. Oh. Yeah, pe people have, are empowered when they're in a group. Uh, and they act differently sometimes, actually. It can be ruder, harsher when they're with others. It's, we, we all know this is true. There was a path I used to take. I could have done it today, really. Followed that one, but I wasn't quite sure what happened up here. Um, I was tempted to do it. I was tempted. But uh, anyway, I'm videoing bits of the gorge. Little bits and pieces. met people who got lost. One group were okay, they seemed to be able to use the map. Um, the other two looked totally hot and bothered and lost. But I couldn't let them tag along with me because basically this is my walk. I'm not there to pick up lost people. They did have a map. I did give them some ideas where they could go. In the end I saw them come in along quite a busy, dangerous road, walking with all their stuff. Yeah, my grandson's birthday today. 17. I don't know what you're doing. They haven't said anything to me about meeting up or anything. Or might be different next year when he's 18. Well, one of my granddaughters, the second eldest of my grandchildren, will be 18 next month. A month's time, actually. I've got another one who will be 15 in two or three days' time. I've got to send her cards off tomorrow, actually. Yeah, I'm going to send her cards off tomorrow, tonight. I'll put them in the post tonight. Just remembered about that. Postman comes at nine o'clock in the morning, so if they pick them up Tuesday, her birthday's Thursday. God, I got all this war destruction. This is, we never used to get any of this, you know. It's terrible, really, what, when gangs of people get up here. I'm going to climb over the little stall and come and stand up here and take some photos in a minute. Views of the gorge. So I'm going to turn off for a minute. Over and out. Right, this is the north side of the gorge. There's the reservoir. Cheddar and Axbridge Reservoir. 
that mound over there, Nyland Mound. Glastonbury is right over there. It's been in the mist a lot. We haven't had a clear Glastonbury for quite a while. So that's not really showing up very well, really. There's a motorbike going up and down the gorge, making a row. Uh, I think they're going there. They're starting to stop people from using it as a boy racer place. They're putting lots of concrete blocks down. They're stopping people parking to meet up to do their racing. Um, that's all new features. I also stop people getting hit by falling rocks from up there. Because rocks do fall down. They are eroding. But here's the gorge, everyone. I don't often do this route. I do the gorge a lot. But normally I'm passing through. I'm going up one way or, or, or back another way, you know. And I, I'm, I'm usually over there coming back, eager to get on the bus and get home. But um, I've got... I'm enjoying the, the lovely sunny weather and um, this is a really good place to view the the snake bends of the gorge down there and um, Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful all year round, different seasons, you get different colours when the trick in the autumn <coughs> and the spring, the trees. A kaleidoscope of colour here. Um, you get some rock climbers here, some abseilers. There are still caves in various parts. Down there, for example, there's a old cave entrance that's been partially blocked down right down in the earth there that was uh, excavated a few years ago they found a few bits and pieces in there um, there's always people there's potholes everywhere and up here lots of young people normally gather and drink and make merry up here um, I suspect a few babies have been conceived up here I wouldn't be surprised. Um, yeah, so this is Cheddar Gorge. I've been coming in here. I've been coming here since I was a child. And for the last 10, 12, 13 years, I've been a regular visitor to Cheddar. Cheddar is a junction point for many of my walks. Many of my walks. Now, my son Duncan was doing boy racing down here in one of his cars. That could be Jack. He's got a motorbike. Who knows? Yeah, I see. Back they go again. They can't do it in their car, so using motorbikes. He might have got. They might have got him a bigger motorbike for his birthday. I don't know. Or a car, even. I expect that'd be the next stage. He's getting him a car. But his dad will. His dad will help him. Anyway, he's growing up, he's uh, got a, he, he's got a, a sort of temporary job while he's at college. He's got a job as well to help him develop skills in welding. Um, so he's getting paid good money for that. And um, he's learning to be in a work environment. Also going to college to learn a trade. That's the way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Is to get a trade. And then you've got income coming in. You know, and good income. Sustainable for you, if you want to have a family or have a home. I went into nursing, that don't help. That was always been poorly paid. Teaching wasn't very much better actually at one point. I was teaching as well, but it wasn't too bad. And it would have been very good now, compared to what it was when I was doing it. 
but things are more expensive. People got want more stuff. Right then, folks. Well, I'm just doing a little tiny video, and um, I'm not going too close to the edge or anything like that. I'm just admiring this beautiful place that I love. Beautiful Cheddar Gorge. That's a powerful geology. Powerful. Over and out.